Right, so what we're gonna look at now is really all about that format of your CV. Now, when I get a CV through, you've got near enough a 30 to 60 second window to impress me. I've got a stack of CVs I'm gonna be going through. I don't have time to give everybody at that first blush the choice of are you perfect or not. So a couple of tips in regards to getting these things right. So number one, the format of your CV is vitally, vitally important. Throughout your process, you might end up with two or three CVs, maybe four CVs, and you decide to cut, cut and paste those things together. If I see a messy CV come on my desk, I don't have time to read. As soon as I see it's messy, you're gonna be in the discard pile, because if you've not spent the time to get that CV right, why am I gonna spend the time digging through to get it right? So what I really want you to do is look at that CV, make sure that if you choose a format, you choose a style, you do it right, okay? Number two, choose your font carefully. There's loads of fonts in your system there, but what I don't want to see is a CV come through to me that's in Wingding or that's in some strange format that makes it hard to read. What we're looking for is something like a Times New Roman, an Arial, a Helvetica. There's no set rule which one you should use. You look at which one presents you correctly, uh, but just make sure that I can read it without a problem. Number three, keep your CV consistent. If you're the sort of person that likes to format everything to the left or format to the right, that's great, but keep it that way right the way through. If you wanna put a full stop at the end of a bullet point or you don't, that's fine, but just don't do it on one, miss two, put it on one and so on. You've got, like I said, 30 seconds to impress, so use that time wisely. For more support in getting you back to work, why not try one of our fully funded courses? Book now in the description below or message us on Facebook.